ever received an email that screams urgency, demanding you click a link or confirm your information immediately, you might have encountered a phishing attempt. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today we're tackling a critical topic. Phishing. Phishing is the most serious cybercrime which is pretty easy to do. Everybody with a small knowledge of networking and websites can do this. In this video we are going to tell you what are phishing attacks and how you can prevent them. First of all, let's understand what is phishing. Imagine this. You receive an email claiming to be from Facebook. It looks legit, uses your name, and warns of suspicious activity on your account. Panicked, you click the provided link, leading you to a fake website designed to mimic the real one. Here you enter your login credentials, unknowingly handing them over to cyber criminals. That's phishing. In a panic situation, we don't notice much and lose our precious data. Usually links in phishing emails are shortened, which means they look legit, but when clicked on them, they lead us to a phishing website. Now let's understand why phishing is so dangerous. A phishing attack can lead to identity theft. Hackers can use your account to spread misinformation, or they can scam your friends and family for money. Not only Facebook accounts, hackers can make phishing links for your emails and bank accounts, which can lead to financial frauds. They can siphon money from your bank accounts, leaving you financially vulnerable. Even hackers can install malware on your system just by clicking a malicious link and can infect your system with malware compromising your whole system. Now let's discuss some types of phishing. First type of phishing is spear phishing. Spear phishing targets a specific group or type of individual, such as a company's system administrator. You can see an example of a spear phishing email. Note the attention paid to the industry in which the recipient works, the download link the victim is asked to click, and the immediate response the request requires. Another type of phishing is smishing. Smishing is an attack that uses text messaging or short message service to execute the attack. A common smishing technique is to deliver a message to a cell phone through SMS that contains a clickable link or a return phone number. Another type of phishing is vishing. A common vishing attack includes a call from someone claiming to be a representative from Microsoft. This person informs you that they've detected a virus on your computer. You're then asked to provide card details so the attacker can install an updated version of antivirus software on your computer. Now the main question is how to spot phishing. Whenever you receive a malicious email, first check its sender. Check whether it is received from the same organization which they are claiming to be from. The next sign of a phishing scam is urgency and scare tactics. Phishing emails often create a sense of panic, urging you to act immediately without thinking. Grammar and spelling error is a good sign to spot phishing. Legitimate companies typically prioritize professional communication. Spotting typos or grammatical mistakes should raise a red flag. Sometimes phishing emails demand you for personal information, Banks and other institutions will never ask for sensitive information like passwords or credit card numbers via email. Phishing emails leads to malicious web pages. In such cases, take a deep look at the URL of the page. The hackers use the same looking domains to make it legit, but you can verify the URL by comparing it with the original URL from the same organization. The links of phishing pages are mostly hosted with any free hosting website like Cloudflare or Ngrok, etc. Now let's know how to prevent phishing scams. First of all, be cautious with all emails and texts, even from seemingly familiar sources. Don't rush into action. Verify the sender's authenticity before engaging. Never click on suspicious links or download attachments. If unsure, directly contact the organization through their official website or phone number. Enable two-factor authentication for all your online accounts. This adds an extra layer of security, requiring a second verification code in addition to your password. Use strong and unique passwords for each account. Avoid easily guessable information and consider using a password manager. Keep your software and antivirus programs up to date. Updates often include security patches to combat new phishing tactics. Don't be a sitting duck. By following these steps and staying vigilant, you can significantly reduce your chances of falling prey to phishing attacks. Remember, staying informed and taking action is crucial. Share this video with your loved ones, spread awareness, and together, let's create a safer online environment. 
like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with future cybersecurity tips.